Silicon carbide is a semiconductor material that, when compared to traditional silicon, can actually reduce losses in power while improving thermal efficiency. It's called a wider band, mature because it takes more energy to break the bond of the electrons between the inside of the material. The advantage of silicon carbide is mostly from the uh, thermal performance. It can withstand much high temperature compared with silicon. By removing the heat uh, in a very efficient manner or preventing it to begin with, we're able to actually improve the power density of the system, which means that we can decrease the size but also the weight, and that leads to the overall system improvement. As we go to higher voltages, like 800 volts, silicon carbide is one of the key enablers for us to deliver those solutions. It is able to tolerate high voltages without breaking down. You're able to switch it on and off to enable the power conversion without seeing efficiency losses. And that's key in order for us to deliver efficiencies of 97%. Silicon carbide can help reduce the size and weight of power electronics components in electric vehicles. Compared with traditional silicon technologies, that means I can make my power conversion device much smaller, my magnetic is much smaller because I can switch in faster. That means my weight is reduced, my complexity of my cooling system and the cost is reduced. All this goes to a one ultimate goal, how I'm going to fully utilize my uh, very precious uh, high voltage battery energy, more efficient at the system level. There are certain applications where we will apply silicon carbide to 400 volt applications. And one of the reasons is because we're trying to find the balance between liquid cooling and air cooling. Silicon carbide provides us that level of efficiency. And when we're able to deliver efficiency at air cooling, we provide the, the best system level cost for the vehicle. When we're evaluating our power electronics system design, we're evaluating different wideband gap materials, including silicon carbide and silicon. As we're implementing our strategy, we're looking to find the most cost-effective balance between those two solutions. Mm -hmm.